Good evening, everybody. Welcome in to Coach's Corner East from the Pizza Hut in Galleon here on this Wednesday before Christmas, the 22nd of December. So glad that you could join us tonight as we get ready for the big holiday. Show is brought to you in part by Steve Kurtzman and Associates at Innovative Recycling, 352 South Street in Galleon. Candy Bolin at Bolin Realty, two blocks west of the Uptown Galleon Square. And John Cross at Cross, Cross Carpet and Custom Floor, 302 North Seltzer Street, downtown Crestline. Coming up on tonight's show, a little later on, it'll be the uh, Tyler Sanders and the boys basketball program from Crestline High School. Uh, had a nice little winning streak going and then fell to Central Christian last night on the road. We'll talk to Coach about that. Uh, prior to that, it'll be boys swimming from Colonel Crawford. Coach Shelley Ashley is in the house to talk about how that team is doing this year. And to start things off, it's uh, assistant coach Tyler Sabo and, or excuse me, Taylor Sabo. Uh, I get, get those two mixed up, <laughs> Tyler done. and Taylor. Taylor Sabo and uh, the Galleon boys basketball team. And we'll get started with them in just a moment. Show is brought to you in part by Terry Gribble and Associates at your Galleon Community Center YMCA. Dr. Erica Schieber at Bucyrus Veterinary Service 222. West Mary Street, Rod Steiger and Associates at Pizza Hut here in Galleon and Bucyrus, hosted the show since 1992. Lou Ann Krebs at River's Edge Embroidery and Screen Printing, sponsor of our phone board t-shirts. And Taylor Sabo, uh, welcome to the show tonight and thanks for coming back and it's good to have you. Yeah, we appreciate it. We, we enjoy coming and I enjoy coming on and excited for it. That's good. And the pizza helps too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Pizza, yeah. <laughs> That's why the kids come, because they like the pizza. And we appreciate Pizza Hut for doing that. Uh, currently, 1-6 overall, 1-4 in the MOAC. And since we uh, last spoke uh, with you and, and Coach uh, Ryan Stover, uh, the season was just kind of getting underway, and that one win wasn't there yet. And that's what I want to start with. Uh, on December 9th, at home, and it was your home opener, if I believe correctly, right? Yep. You defeat the Clear Fork Colts 55-46. It snapped a 35-game losing streak back to the 2019-2020 season. And Coach Stover said to the Galleon Inquirer, it means we're going in the right direction. Those kids who played tonight and the entire program they bought in. Uh, what was the collective sigh of relief? Because I saw some pictures, I saw some highlights, kids storming the, the, the uh, floor. It looked like a real party atmosphere. Um. Well, like you said, 35, and I, I don't think we realized it till the next day and all the articles were coming out, 35-game losing streak snap. For us, it was just that one game. It, it wasn't about the 35 before that. It was just about that one night, that one game, and then the celebration of the locker room was just – it was worth all the pain before that. Um, and then just all the work we had put in so far in the season and to finally get it, like I said, it was – it's a party in the locker room afterwards. Yeah, and I'm sure you would have taken it on the road, be it you know wherever. Mm -hmm. But being at home, especially a home opener, home fans, student section, it, that had to make it even that much more nice. Oh, absolutely. And and uh, Mr. Bond even let them storm the court. So yeah, that, that's great. For them to get to celebrate that with their classmates, um, some of them you know basketball players last year that weren't playing, some of them maybe showing up just to get the support, maybe not thinking we were going to get that W. To finally get that together, I think, was a big deal for these guys and, and the school. Yeah, for sure. Hudson Miller, career high, 26 points. And uh, did you know that was kind of in him, that he had that ability to go off and, and just kind of dominate that way? I think we've seen glimpses of that in practice from Hudson. But I was on the coaching staff last year, and we, we never quite saw that. And... Mm -hmm. But now that he did it, you know, it's something we look forward to from him every night. Um, and, and to see that he's capable of something like that, it, it definitely was exciting. And just really happy for him to be able to not only do that, but it, it just felt like he dominated from, from the tip to the end. Um, and really happy for Hudson to be able to do something like that. You led uh, the Colts 24-19 at half, then 37-28 after the third quarter. And then you were able to close things out at the free throw line. And if I... Probably no coach Stover, like most coaches, you spend a lot of time in the gym during practice at the free throw line because you know in the game of basketball, that can win you or lose your game. Oh, absolutely. And um, you said we'll talk about it a little later, but last night free throws is something that kind of lost us that game in the end. But we, I mean, we practice free throws, what, 50, 60, 70 shots a night at least. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it is nonstop from, from beginning of practice to the end. We're always making it a priority and 
that night, it, it helped us out. Good. Jackson Oswald finished with 13 points, Reese Payne and Garrett Ison eight points each. And then uh, that next Thursday, the 11th, go to Shelby, a team that's going to be one of the top in the MOAC. They proved it and took you down 77 to 40. Not a lot to talk about there. It is what it is. Uh, they ended up getting beat last night by River Valley, another one of the top teams in the league that you have coming up on your schedule here very soon. Then the Lucas Cubs, who for a small school is really doggone good at, at basketball, but, but all their sports. Mm -hmm. you, we know their success on the football field as well. On the 14th, uh, they took you down 62 to 30. Their defense was a major story as uh, you missed a lot of shots. You're down by 30 at half. But the younger kids got a lot of time in the second half. Talk about as you're building this program, how important, even though you don't like to be on the lopsided end of that kind of a score, how valuable that is to get kids varsity experience that are young? Well, I mean, part of our problem right now is we have our five seniors and then we don't have, I mean, we have one junior that dresses up and then the rest is our three sophomores right here. Quinn as a freshman, Jimmy Hardy as a freshman, Carson Frankhouse, another sophomore. So we are very young. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of them, I mean, they are getting valuable, meaningful minutes. But I think in that second half, it was just like a good way for us to maybe really focus on the future past what after our seniors are, are, are gone um, but I mean we are definitely excited for finishing out this year as, as we continue on but knowing that the program's in good hands with you know these four here and some of the other guys that aren't. You mentioned uh, the young kids Stephen Glue who's with us tonight seven points led all scores for Galleon Quinn Miller uh, also here tonight and Jimmy Hardy six points each and then you go over to Ontario a team that's in a transition from a coaching standpoint longtime coach just entered into the Hall of Fame Joe Baylog now replaced uh, by Madison's former head coach but they're still Ontario and they're still a good program and you found that out they took you down 60 to 24 uh, and then last night uh, you go to Highland a team that's new to the MOAC uh, and uh, have you have you guys played there before and passed in a non-league situation? Uh, last year, our freshman basketball okay. team went, went there, and, and we we won. It was kind of close, uh, but that's I mean that's been in basketball. Okay, all right. You lost sixty six sixty one, and what really stood out to me was again you want the win, but the number of points you were able to be productive. Whereas some of these games, it's been twenties, thirties. Mm -hmm. What changed last night? Um, I mean, we started off shooting the ball well. I think it was the first time all season we had scored double digits in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. And then third quarter comes, and we kind of got to a slow start. Uh, Coach Silver got technical, but that, it, I think it was almost needed. It, it sparked us to start shooting the ball well. And I think, I mean, the second half of the third quarter and the fourth quarter was the best basketball we played all season. We were down, I think, 14 at one point, and, and we're able to take a lead up um, in the fourth. And it's just like having confidence in ourselves for the in these these kids having confidence in, them, in themselves for the first time, mm -hmm. um, and not just one, not just Hudson, not just Reese, but everybody that took a shot in that third quarter and fourth quarter, they believed it was going in, and and most of them did, and it was able to kind of spark that comeback and. I think hopefully spark this season going forward. Yeah, you talk about the fourth quarter, 25 points in that fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. that, that's pretty doggone good for eight minutes of basketball. Absolutely. Uh, so helping yourself get back into it. You mentioned Hudson Miller, 20 points, Reese Payne, 14, Garrett Ison with eight points. So uh, again, not a win, but uh, it looks like progress is coming. Kids Absolutely. are starting to, to believe in themselves, and sometimes that's half the battle with young adults, isn't it? Absolutely. We're going to take a break here before we talk to the young men around the table. Shows brought to you in part by Don Barn Associates at Gallium Building and Loan Bank. Matt Studer at Spitzer Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Kia, one mile east of the Richland Mall. Mark Osborne and Associates at Ecrane International, serving worldwide markets from the Gallium Industrial Park. And we have uh, three sophomores, one freshman with us tonight from the Gallium Boys basketball team. Cohen Fusen is up first as a sophomore, and welcome to the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Position that you're playing on the team? Uh, probably like a wing. A wing, okay. And now you're up at varsity or you're J JV? I'm up at varsity. Varsity, okay. So you're playing freshman ball. Did you play some JV last year? I'm, I played JV last okay. year. Okay. So uh, now it's uh, – are you getting a lot of time at, at the varsity level? Yeah, that's would. All yeah. right. Are you an offensive specialist or a defensive specialist? What are you called on to do? I'd say defensive. Yeah. Defense, okay. And uh, so you got to – are you on a particular person like the best shooter or the, the point guard or does it – wherever you're needed wherever i'm needed i'm just out there to bring energy and get stops so as you've looked at the beginning of the season and where you are now and how the progress is being made where's your confidence level with this team 
I think I think we're moving in the right direction with our confidence. I say we started off slow to the season, but then we beat Clearfork and really gave us the momentum we needed. Mm -hmm. uh, close knit the group. Talk about the five seniors, right? And then kind of a lot of younger guys. When they have that disparity in age, sometimes can be a little disconnected. Do you feel like you're really a tight unit? Yeah, because um, they help us. They, you know, they teach us some things that we don't know yet because we're still young. Right. And I feel like it brings us closer. Good. Good for you. We'll continue to, uh, working hard, and uh, hopefully these wins will come as you finish out this year and go into the next calendar year for sure. Stephen Glue is up next, the sophomore as well. And Stephen, uh, welcome to the show. Glad to have you aboard. And a high score against uh, Lucas, albeit a loss, but. Uh, you know, that time that you're playing with these younger kids, the kids that are around your age, yeah, this, it's, it's great to have the seniors on the team, but do you like kind of playing with kids your own age and together at the same time? Yeah, I think it's good for us because it's going to, it's just going to teach us to play better together in the future when we don't have our seniors. Yeah. Attack. I don't know how much interaction there is after a game, you know, you're going through and shaking hands or what have you if you talk to the other team. Do they ever say much to you? guys or you specifically say hey keep your heads up things are coming in the right direction i can see it or do they not really say much to you at all mm, i mean not really too much i mean sometimes the other team's coaches but mm -hmm. really it's not a whole lot okay them, you get that big win and everybody storms the court what was that feeling like for you albeit young and just a, a sophomore but what was that kind of like the monkey off the back feeling uh, it was just, it was really awesome. Everybody was so into it. And like last year practicing and just uh, with our varsity team and not getting any wins, it just really sucked. So to be able to, you know, help get that win, it's just awesome. So where do you have to go from here as you progress now? Two more games to go in this calendar year and then into the kind of the dog days, I guess, in some regard, in January and February. It's cold, it's snowy usually, it's long bus trips. How do you get to start getting more wins? What do you have to do? I think we just need to have a lot of energy and a lot of excitement because we know we're going in the right direction. And we just got to keep our heads up and keep working and, you know, putting it all together. And the rest wins. will come. Yeah. All right, very good. Thanks for coming. Continued success. Quinn Miller is a freshman. Thanks for coming, Quinn. I appreciate that. And uh, position that you play on the team? Um, I'm more of like point guard, shooting guard, that's a... Okay, point guard, shooting guard. So you can score when asked to score? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> okay. Uh, more of a three-point threat, or do you take it to the, to the rack and, and try to get some harm, or what, what's kind of your forte? Where's your range? I'm more of a three-point threat. Three-point, okay. Now, do you practice that a lot in practice, or are you asked to, or do you take extra time before or after to, to do that? Uh... Normally, it's during practice when I really practice my threes and okay. also driving as well. All right. Where have you improved from where the season has begun to where you are right now? Uh, definitely being more aggressive on offense and defense, and uh, overall my shooting's also improved a lot. Has it slowed down for you now, the game? Because, let's face it, as a, as a freshman playing at the varsity level, that can look like a, a, a blur. Uh, has it started now to slow down to the point where your mind is, you don't react so much, you're thinking and being able to do what you want to do? Yeah, definitely. It's slowed down a lot more and I'm starting well, that, to get used to it. Yeah, that, that's good. I mean, you want it to be that way, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure early on it was just like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, so, uh, feeling healthy? Good shape? Yeah, I feel really good. Knock on wood that everybody stays away from, you know, that dreaded virus, but uh, you feel pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, continue success. Thanks for coming out, and I appreciate it very much. And finally, Cooper Kent is here, a sophomore, and thanks for coming out tonight. And position that you play on the team? Guard. Guard, okay. Uh, defense, you more of a defensive guy, offensive guy? Um, I would say more, more of a balance. I mean, I can score, um, but I can also play defense on the other side of the floor. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, a little bit how these, these seniors that have been through it for a number of years are helping you as a younger person to – understand not only the game and what's expected at the varsity level, but what the expectation should be going forward for Galleon basketball? Well, I think it's really just how much, how much like experience they have compared to us younger kids because it's been two or one year that we've had versus three or four years that they've had. Mm -hmm. And it's really just been showing us how to like, 
uh, play the game at a varsity level versus JV or freshman or even middle school basketball. Yeah, and uh, where do you have to really progress from here through the rest of the year? Um, I think we just need to, you know, pl play with play with fire. I mean, when we when we score, we can compete with any team. But when we struggle to score, we just have a really hard really hard time competing with anybody. You know, as you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the object of the game is to put it in that uh, that round cylinder, and when yeah. it doesn't happen, and some nights you're going to have that. You're just going to have bad shooting nights. That happens, but. Uh, hopefully you get uh, a lot better looks, and, and it really does come down to confidence. Well, continue success. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Take another break here before we uh, wrap things up uh, with Coach Sabo. Show's brought to you in part by Stephen Chuck Keller at Keller Auto Parts, your Napa dealer, Uptown Galley, and Crestline. Marie Mounts at the Platinum Insurance Agency, your progressive agent, 131 Harding Way East, Uptown Galleon, and Joe Kleiman Associates at the Galleon Office of First Federal Bank of Ohio. Coach Sabo, uh, before we get to what's coming up, how are things going at JV freshman and junior high levels? Um, so we're going way down. Uh, 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 seventh grade is playing really well. They got some, some good scores on there. Uh, we, we uh, as a unit, have tried to go down and watch a few of their games, just, you know, go support. Um, it's just been a lot of fun watching, you know, the future of the program. Sure. Um, eighth grade, they have some athletes. They're still trying to figure it out. Um, Steven's dad's actually the coach. <laughs> so just keeping just keeping it within the family and just building something up from the ground up is, is important. Now, have we you know, given any coaching tips like, hey, Dad, you should do this? Or... I try. He, he <laughs> asks sometimes, you know, what we're doing at the yeah. varsity level. Yeah, um, so no, that's I, neat. I try to help, yeah. Good. But it's we, we understand that the middle school, we want them to succeed, absolutely. But we just know that what's important is getting those kids developed. That way when they get to the high school, um, we can continue to grow this yeah. Galleon basketball brand. Yeah, for sure. And then freshmen, have you had some freshmen games? Um, yeah, we've had most of our uh, games so far have had freshmen. Uh, they they got two wins um, back to back, I think, right? Lucas and uh, this last one, no. So Ontario did not have one. So yeah, they've won two in a row now. Good. And JV got their first win yesterday. So just really proud of um, all those guys, you know, from freshmen up. Um, competing every night and, and all of us have have a win now at every level so do you do you like that format that the MOAC has where they play freshman JV and varsity in the same night I do I think it's fun I I, I as JV coach am on the bench for all three so I mean I'm watching that freshman team um getting those guys up then try and manage their quarters and I just like being part of all three in one night and uh, we're really trying to get that clean sweep one of these nights, having yeah. a freshman JV varsity victory. So That'd it's, it's going to come. That'd be neat. Uh, coming up, uh, you're done for the, the Christmas break, but coming up next week, couple games, 28. You got Northmore coming yeah. up, a uh, team that's coached by Blade Tackett, former uh, – player at Colonel Crawford has a nice program down there has some nice players and and then uh, you go on the road on Thursday the 30th at River Valley uh, tough team and a tough place to play but uh, what are going to be the keys to kind of get some wins next week I think it's important for us to use the momentum that we had to finish the game last night I think we had a really solid practice today and as long as we continue that have energy play with passion and shoot the ball I think we can compete with almost everybody in our league, um, and then obviously Northmore being a non-conference game, go, just having them at home I think will be good for us to just keep that confidence going. And I, I know that I'm excited for it. I know our boys are excited for it. So Very we good. just got to practice hard and knock down shots. Very good. Well, uh, keep up the good work, all of you. Uh, thanks for coming out. Enjoy your Christmas. Have a good time. Eat all the stuff you're not supposed to, but be ready to come back to practice and, and hopefully get a couple wins before the calendar turns. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with Coach Shelley Ashley, the Colonel Crawford Boys Swim Team, right after this timeout. <laughs> 